Hey everyone, today we are jumping into the world of motion graphic. So I've broken down this motion design into three simple steps to make it super easy to understand. Let's dive in and unravel the magic behind these captivating visuals. Step one, arranging the nodes. Think of it like solving a puzzle. We are putting together the building blocks to create the foundation of our motion graphic. Just take a look at the screen. This is the nodes that we are going to be recreating. Step two, working with animation. So with this step, we are going to bring it to life. It's like giving your design a heartbeat. Everything starts to wiggle and move, making it not only cool, but also fascinating to watch. Step three, tweaking our animation. This is the final step that we are going to take. So we are going to be adding finishing touches. It's all about small adjustments that take your animation to the next level. Imagine it as the cherry on top of your creative masterpiece. So first thing first, these are the nodes that we are going to be recreating right here on the screen. So let's head to our edit page and start afresh. Okay, so we are going to create a new fusion composition. Okay, so to do that, I like to just right click on an empty area on the media pool and we are going to create new fusion composition like I always do and I'm going to name this find your style. Find your style. Hit create. Okay, so we are going to the media pool and we are going to find a new fusion composition and we are going to drag down to our timeline. So select this, put our time indicator right close to it, anywhere around here. And we are going to head on to the fusion page. So we are going to start from the beginning. Okay, so we have our media out and I'm going to start with a background node. Okay, drag my background node to our workspace. And I like to connect it because I like to start with visualizing my work on the screen. So I'm going to connect this. By the way, a lot of people have different ways to start. It doesn't matter how you start. It just matters that you know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to change the background color at the inspector side. At the right hand side, I'm going to change the color to something cooler. All right, so let's go with this color right here. You could choose any color that you like. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is bringing down our text node. Okay, I like to arrange it my way. So I like to arrange mine. It doesn't matter how you arrange. As far as you could keep up with it. Okay, so I'm going to be working with the first node. Now, I'm going to be working with two nodes, but what I like to do is to work with the first one, then copy the first one so that I don't have to redo the same thing twice. Okay, it's all about working efficient. So I'm going to type in find your star. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use for our first node. So I'm going to design it however I want. So let's go to shading and I'm going to put an outline. I'm going to put a black outline so change the outline to black i'm going to increase the thickness something like this okay okay and i'm going to change the font i'm going to change this to extra bold italian okay this is cool for now so this is what i want now let's add one more thing so i'm going to go to shadows and enable shadows so guys um I'm not going to tweak too many stuff here because the more you tweak, the more you're going to have to adjust at the end. So I'm going to keep that in mind. So I'm not going to tweak too many stuff here. So this is cool. This is what I want. All right. So I'm going to copy, copy this uh, text node and I'm going to paste it right outside somewhere and I'm going to connect this. Okay, so let me bring this down just a little bit here at the center. Okay, so the second node, we are going to change this to KW Fashion Store.com. So I want this to be a little bigger. 
I should have done this on the first one so I don't have to redo that again okay so 101 so I'm gonna do the same to this one change the size again to 101 just like the other one this is why you have to um, do everything that you want to do on the first one so you don't have to redo this again all right so let's say this is the size that I want um, if you like you can rename the text so I'm gonna rename this text okay to test two but now we are going to add a mask to these two texts so I'm going to drag down a rectangular mask first of all I'm going to increase the size of this mask to maybe something like this uh, maybe let's make it a bit smaller okay so I'm going to connect this mask to both text one and text two okay so um obviously we do not want these two texts to be like this because you could see the first text and you could see the second text and they are on top of each other so what we're going to do now is to to select text two and we are going to head over to inspector on the right right hand side and we are going to go over to settings so at settings we are going to apply mask inverted so now the second test is now behind the rectangular mask all right so if i move this out of the way now you could see the words behind our mask so if i put it right back you're going to see the first text okay when we get to our second step you are going to see why i did that i'm going to bring in my logo into this work so my logo is already in my media pool so i'm going to drag my logo to the workspace and i'm going to add it to my workflow okay so i got my logo and i'm going to move this logo to the left side and i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to put it right here that's a good size or that's a good ratio however you put it this is the first step which is arranging the nodes so this is the basis of our nodes that we are going to be working with we are going to add more nodes eventually but it's not going to be under this step okay our second step working with our animation so now we are going to begin with animation but before we begin our animation we are going to have to do just a little tweak to our nodes so before we begin animation we are going to select the rectangle node and we are going to head to inspector side we are going to right click around this area and we are going to modify offset position okay so after that we are going to head over to modifies select the modify and we are going to right click this area on position and we are going to select expression so on this uh expression we are going to delete everything here and we are going to connect this rectangular node on our workspace we are trying to connect this node right here the rectangular node with the merge of my logo let me rename this logo so to make it easy so i'm gonna call this logo okay so we are trying to connect this rectangular node with the merge node we are trying to connect the centers so when this rectangular node moves the center of the logo moves as well all right so that's why we are adjusting the modifiers all right so we're going to go back so because we want to connect the offset of the rectangle and the merge we are going to type in here merge merge three dot center because the center is what we are trying to merge it with okay so now we have merged it but as you can see our rectangle is not centered the offset is somewhere else so we want to put that where we want it to be which is exactly where it was when i arranged it all right so let's do that right now so we are going to merge it here i have to um control that at the offset because that's what we are trying to align okay so this is good so now what this do is when we go to merge and we move this it's moving with the rectangular node so the both are moving at the same time so this could make your animation a little better let's go ahead so now we have done just a tiny little tweak so let's start with our animation so our first animation you're gonna have to find your intro to your graphics what i'm going to do is 
I'm going to make my logo coming from the top and I'm going to make my text coming from the side. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm going to select the logo and I'm going to select transform because if I move from the merge, it's going to affect the rectangular node. So I don't want to affect the rectangular node and the intro animation. So I'm going to select logo and I'm going to tra select transform. All right, so let's start. I'm going to start here and I'm going to animate the center from transform and it's going to end here. And at the beginning, it's going to be somewhere at the top that we cannot see. Okay. And we are going to do the same with the text. Okay, the text is going to be, we are going to go to layout on the inspector side and we are going to also animate the center from here. And we go back to the beginning and we are going to get this off screen. Also remember we have a mask, so it's going to appear from where the mask ends. Keep that in mind. We got our introduction to animation, so we can smooth that out a little bit. We're going to select text. Okay, we are going to select everything. So we're simply going to select everything here. Hit S to make it smooth. Okay, so we're gonna play that now. Okay, so that's looking fine. All right, so let's take this plane away. So our next animation, as it comes in, boom. Let's give it a couple of frames. So um, let's say at frame 30, we are now going to be working with the merge. All right, so we are going to start our animation on frame 30. So at frame 30, we are going to start animation on the center. And at frame 40, we are going to make this probably go off screen. All right, so let, let's make it go off screen. That's our first movement. So now our second text appears and you can see the kwfashionstore.com on the screen. So we are going to leave that for this duration right here. Then we are going to start another animation and at frame 65, we are going to bring it back. You could control the X from the right hand side or you could control it on the screen. So I'm going to bring it back right this stage. Then we are going to leave that on the screen for a while, for like, let's say frame 80. Then we are going to start another animation. Then at frame 90, now let's give this a bit more time. Let's say frame 100 we are going to take it off the screen again for the last time and our second step is done at this point okay so this is our animation in total for the second step so let's make this motion a bit smoother Okay, so we are going to uh, go to fit the screen and what I'm going to do, I'm not going to hit S because this is a bunch of small, small steps and sometimes this move does not work or doesn't work right. So I'm going to select this, the first one, and I'm going to adjust this right here so that it does not. Okay, let's leave this up a bit. Now I'm going to increase this. I'm going to do the same here. Take this up. I'm going to drag this. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. So like this, go up a little bit, then drag it. That'll make it a little bit smoother. So let's just play from here. You see that? Just a tiny bit smoother. Okay, so our second step is officially done so we are now going to head to our third step which is tweaking our animation so now we are going to begin to tweak our animation as you can see our first text is find your style when it goes across it says kwfashionstore.com as it comes back it also says find your style but what I want to do now is I want to change that find your style to kfashionstore.com but I want it to be just the outline. I don't want it to have the full text. I want it to be outline text. 
okay so i'm going to change that before my logo comes around so i'm going to change that somewhere between 40 and 55 it doesn't matter where because our logo is not yet started to reverse so i'm going to change the first text remember that's the first text that's text one this is why you have to name your text and you have to keep up with which text that you're going to be tweaking so that's the first text so now i can't just change the lettering i have to animate the changes so that way we do not change it from the beginning because any change that i do anywhere is going to affect the beginning as well so we want to animate any changes that we want so now the first change that we are going to do now is change this to kwfashionstore.com all right so we are going to animate this right here and we could move a couple of frames forward remember we're just doing animation it doesn't matter where your animation ends up as far as is the changes between 40 and 55 move your indicator a couple of frames forward then we are going to change this back to kw fashion store Dot com we still have to go to um to shading i'm going to disable the black shadow so i'm going to go back a couple of frames and i'm going to select enable and i'm going to go forward and i'm going to disable it okay so also i'm going to disable the outline as well so i'm going to go back again start our animation with enable and go a couple of frames forward and disable it okay so i'm going to go to this first element now and i'm going to change the appearance like i said before i'm going to change it from text fill to text outline which is why i disabled the red outline and the shadow okay because if you do that then that's going to defeat the purpose of changing it to text outline so i'm going to animate that as well i'm going to animate it from here remember anything that you change you're gonna to have to change it with animation okay so i'm gonna go a couple of frames and i'm going to choose text outline now i'm going to increase the thickness a little bit not that much um remember you cannot see what you're doing because it's behind the mask if i go a couple of frames when my logo comes back now you can see what i just did you could always go back and forth and see what you're doing so this is what i just did and i changed it with animation so if i still go back the find your style is still in play but if i didn't animate the changes it's going to change this as well let me see where this starts to go back so at 80 my logo is going back out again so um now what i want to do is as my logo go back out for the last time now i want nothing to be behind i want it to be empty so i'm going to delete our second text with animation before frame 80. so i'm going to go to text 2 and i'm going to go to the text on the inspector side and i'm going to animate the deletion so i'm going to just animate right here and i'm going to go a couple of frames forward and i'm going to delete kwfashionstore.com after from 80 nothing appears now so so far that's cool but wait a minute we got more all right so like always you could always make your animation a little better so i'm just going to make more animation just to make this even more cooler than it is so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add more node because with this animation that i'm about to add to this we need two more nodes all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the first text node and i'm going to add it so this is text three so i'm going to add text three i'm going to select text three and i'm going to type in the same thing kw fashion store dot com and i'm also going to put the same size that i put on my previous text text one and text two i think it's 101 so that's what i'm going to put here as well 101 101 okay so now i got 101 let me go back to this text and see what i got just to make sure 101 okay so now we go back here 101 and i'm going to try to 
align this oh yes and i also got extra bold italic and i'm going to change the shading to text outline so now i'm going to turn lining up it's looking good so far now i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this now i did that because i don't want to do this again so i'm going to join it and everything is already in place so remember you want to work smarter not harder so i just did the second one in a matter of seconds but i just copied and paste remember it's not part of the, our animation from the beginning we wanted to appear somewhere around here okay so i'm going to make it appear somewhere around here because it wasn't part of our animation from the beginning it doesn't make sense to be in the scene before frame 65 so i'm going to start from frame 65 i'm going to work with the opacity so i'm going to bring it down the opacity to zero and i'm going to animate this and i'm going to bring it to live a couple of frames forward i'm going to bring it to live and i'm going to do the same to our second test bring the opacity to zero a couple of frames forward and I'll bring it back to full opacity so from 70 to somewhere in between i'm going to make those let it go up and down i'm going to be working with the layout all right so i'm going to start my first animation by selecting the center and i'm going to go somewhere halfway i want it to be the same so this is frame 73 i'm going to go up a little bit just a little bit i don't want it to go up too much uh, just right here okay all right so i'm going to go right back and I'm going to select text three and I'm going to do the same thing. Go to layout. I'm going to start animation. I'm going to go to frame 73. Remember you want it to be in uniform. All right. So at frame 73, we are going to go down to like roughly the same distance between the first and the second. Okay. So this is roughly the same distance between up and down so we get something like this boom but hold up we got more the text three and text four let me rename this to text four so from frame 70 to 73 text three goes up text four goes down okay so that's cool but i'm going to add a glow also remember that this is the first text this is text one that we animated to change to KW Fashion Store. So we are going to go to test one and we are going to add a glow to this text. All right, so let's look for glow. So shift space bar, we are going to look for glow and we are going to select glow. Okay, so that's a glow right about here. We don't want this to glow from the beginning to this point. So we are going to do what we do best. We are going to reduce the glow to zero and we are going to start animation with the glow and we are going to head to frame 70 right where the k fashion store slash to split we are going to put glow right about here we are going to glow this right about here okay so that's enough glow we don't want to glow it too much so that's okay also we want it to stop right after that we want just a, a flash like a flash glow all right so we want to stop the glow as well seconds after, after that so we are going to head to this box right here and i'm going to go to 70.1 and i'm going to hit enter so that's just a couple of frames so we are going to start another animation then we are going to hit 70.2 enter then we're gonna go right back to zero so the glow is just a quick glow all right hold up there's more so we are going to go back to text and right at 70 when it glows we want to change that k fashion store outline who's back to solid okay so we are going to go back to shading then we are going to animate the appearance again so we are going to start our animation here by selecting the diamond select our animation couple of frames let's put to 70.2 we are going to go back to solid okay so now when it glows boom 
the center changes to solid then the text 3 and text 4 is the only one that remains as outline now hopefully you guys were able to follow to this point but if not you could rewatch the whole video and follow step by step but the point of this video is to understand the thought process behind these animations which is why i broke them down to those three steps arranging the node working with animation and tweaking our animation for the last step we are going to do something very simple so because as you can see now when my logo goes across it doesn't go with the text 3 and text 4 which is the two outline logos so that's a simple way we, we could fix that we could fix that by adding the mask from here we could add the mask to text 3 and text 4 so now they both have the same mask controlling these two so that's it when my logo goes from left to right both text 3 text 4 is added to the movements so ladies and gentlemen that's how you do this animation it seems complicated but like i said complicated animations is just bunch of simple steps joined together if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel by subscribing you will never miss out on our latest content tutorial and tips we greatly appreciate your support and it motivates us to keep creating valuable videos for you so go ahead hit that like button and click the subscribe button to join our community thank you for your support